caught that fish, I would have been jealous. Oh. There we go. There we go. Fish on. All right, welcome back to Ma Pop Fishing. This is Grandy. If this is your first time here, uh, hopefully you like fishing videos and also just a guy who's trying to get better at fishing and who fishes with his kids quite a bit. So if you like that, hit the subscribe button. Uh, today, I'm going to be fishing with a local legend, uh, Mr. Spencer, river certified himself. He's going to take me out and we're going to try and trace the walleye bite. So uh, you can kind of see... I didn't do as great as i wanted to but spencer pretty much caught all the fish <laughs> at least i felt that way but um i don't know hopefully you guys enjoy it was, it was fun times i got a chance to just to fish with him and pick his brain and and you know get i guess you get tips on fishing from him so it's kind of cool here we go all right so i'm in the uh presence of greatness at least I think I am. I'm fishing with the presence of greatness. Yes. Well, everybody, I'm about to get learnt by Mr. River Certified himself. No, you're not. At least teach you. I'm. All right. I'm hope. I. I don't really. I'm hoping one of y'all, because I have not caught really any walleyes this year. Maybe a couple, I guess. But, well, chartreuse, chartreuse. Maybe or I'm white. I'm here with Jesse and Grandy. Um, Grandy sucks at fishing, but Jesse's <laughs> pretty good. So hopefully, I'll uh, learn something. We'll catch a few fish. That is how you are gonna make me catch fish by saying <laughs> saying shit like that. <laughs> it's gonna be like now I'm gonna be on fire. I hope so. I, so. I want I just want to be on fire so that I can just say, "Hey, Kit." <laughs> I got a six pound leader. Let's see, I'm gonna have to maybe I use chartreuse it. So he ended so Sean ended up not going, so I went to go pick up the rods I bought from him. So that's why. So you can catch no fish on fancy. <laughs> exactly. What if I caught a fish on the first cast? That would be pretty amazing. Oh, wow. So, yeah, it's not a fluke. That was a Mr. First Cast. That was definitely a first cast. Wow, that was pretty impressive. That is whole. Oh, wow. Um, that is, that is large. If I catch one. Holy shit. <laughs> that girl's right there. Wow. That is, here, I gotta take a picture yeah, of you. Over there. Man, I'm not gonna lie, I'm smiling. This is one cast wonder. That is awesome, dude. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> is that right off the bottom? I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda jealous. I'm pretty I'm pretty jealous. <laughs> if you would have caught that fish, I would have been jealous. Oh. There we go. There we go. Fish on. 
It might be. It might be. Oh yeah, that's. Oh yeah, that is a beautiful fish. That's a perfect eater, bro. Bring him over here. Wow, thank you. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mr. River certified lands it for me. I almost knocked it off. That's <laughs> freaking a beautiful fish, dude. Holy cow. Well, second cast. Say, so, yeah. man. Nice one, bud. Thank you, sir. Yep. All, right. All right, well, I guess I can catch a fish. There you guys go. There it is. Boom. Oh, that is a nice walleye. That is dinner. If you ain't keeping an eye on them. Well, the girls love crispy fish, so. And then, of course, I didn't bring my thing. Did you bring it? Yeah, where am I? I got one. All right, yeah. I'm trying not to knock over your camera. Yeah. Well, gentlemen. All right. It was nice meeting you, sir. Yeah. Leave a couple out there for me. I'll try not to. Or don't. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. On the way out. Oh, wow. Man, you were like psychic today, yeah? <laughs> that was pretty impressive. I did call that. You called it, man. Hey, you want to land this one real quick? Yeah, I'll run back. All right, everybody. If you guys are watching this, you guys can always get a guide trip with Mr. Spencer Certified here. River Certified. Make sure check his website out. He does guide trips, by the way, for catfish. And today he's taking me on a walleye. Look at it. That guy is just on fire. All right, no more. <laughs> And that was pretty much about it, guys. I didn't catch much, obviously. Uh, it was like the River Certified show, but it was kind of cool. Uh, I got a chance to really, you know, pick his brain, get some tips on how to chase walleyes and everything. So it was su super fun. Uh, and then now the kids, they want to eat. So what we're going to do is uh, do a, a spring roll dish. It's a fish wrap. And my wife's going to be the cook, obviously, because I can't cook with anything. So she's going to kind of go through all the steps. And hopefully you guys enjoy that portion. My kids, obviously, they can't wait to eat. Uh, enjoy the, the cooking session. All right, everybody. Welcome back. And I just got done fishing, obviously, with Spencer. And this was the one of the walleye. So huge shout out to Spencer at River Certified. for He actually donated a, a few fish to me. So thanks, Spencer, on that. Um, but what we're gonna actually do is do a mini catch and cook with this walleye. So uh, I already cleaned it, I gutted it, took all the nasty stuff out. Um, we're gonna do something a little bit different today, obviously. I'm not gonna be doing sticky rice. Uh, oh. All right, hold on. Um, but we're not gonna do sticky rice today. We're gonna do a thing called fish spring roll wrap. Um, it's Something that, you know, you know, my wife's obviously Vietnamese, but they do a lot of spring roll wraps and we actually do it too in, in my custom. Uh, but we're going to be doing a lot of uh, different ingredients. I'm going to show you guys here. Uh, my wife does this quite a bit. We love to do fish wrap. It's really, honestly, it's really a uh, refreshing type of meal, I guess you can say. And it's baked, so it's not like anything fried. So it might be a little bit different and um, hopefully you guys enjoy. I mean, I, I can definitely get you guys the ingredients and everything on that. So we'll, we'll get started here. Let me show you guys all the ingredients that we're going to work with. All right, so here's the, uh, the boon noodles. We call it boon. It's noodles of Vietnamese. Uh, these are the, was it vermicelli, I believe, right? Yep. So vermicelli, you just, you know, boil it, cool it down. We're going to be using that. So here are the vegetables we're going to be using today. It's going to be cucumbers. We got basil, mint leaves, we got lettuce, we have cilantro. So those are the main ingredients we're going to put in the in the, the fish wrap that we're going to work with. Here's the uh, the nice walleye. And then obviously uh, my wife here, she's going to be chopping up here uh, lemongrass. We have uh, ginger and black pepper and salt we're going to be doing. And she's just going to, it's going to be a simplified of how she marinates the fish. We're just going to stuff it. Give it salt and pepper, obviously, bake it, and then we're gonna do a fish wrap, nice and easy. And uh, stay tuned, we're gonna also do uh, the dip. We, we, we have a, a fish dip, it's kinda, 
I don't know if that's an ox. Is that an oxymoron? I don't know. We're gonna eat fish wrap and we're gonna dip it into a fish dip. Fish dip, like fish sauce dip, I'm sorry. So, hey Scotty, say hi. Hi! There we go, here we go. So what we're gonna do here is, so my wife pretty much chopped up all the lemongrass and the ginger. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stuff the walleye. So we're gonna stuff this guy, put some black pepper salt in it. We're gonna really do a simple marinade of this and then we're gonna bake it. We're gonna bake it, uh, I believe my wife uh, put it at 400, so we're gonna bake it in the oven at 400, so. So we stuff the uh, the fish and everything. We're gonna cover it with foil and we're gonna throw it in the oven. Like I said, 400 degrees, we're gonna throw it in there anywhere from about 30 to 45 minutes. So we'll see how that works. So now as the fish is baking, we're gonna make the sauce. So you have to have the sauce for our spring rolls that we're gonna be doing here, uh, the fish spring rolls that we're gonna do. So here, I'm gonna show you how my wife does it. Uh, I definitely prefer the way she does it. It's a little bit different how other uh, people do it, but I prefer it. I think it tastes a lot better the way she does it. So here we go. So we use right here, she's gonna use two cups of water here. And then she's gonna use approximately, this is the fish sauce. This is the, the three crab fish sauce. I, I highly recommend that. Uh, stupid inflation has made this freaking thing like nine, ten dollars now, which is ridiculous. But anyways, uh, she puts right here, as you can see, she puts about half a cup of fish sauce in this. And then, so we pour it all together. So we're gonna use about three tablespoons of sugar. And then you bring it to a boil. And then, as my wife said, you're gonna bring this to a boil right here. All right, so now you gotta chop up the lime, you chop up the, the garlic right there. This is part of the sauce. And then these red hot peppers that my daughter, Damon, hello. I know hello, I wanted. And Scotty. And we actually did these uh, peppers homegrown, so they're uh, ferociously hot. The girls obviously don't eat it. But um, this is gonna be part of the uh, the sauce. The uh, We call it the Nook Mum sauce. So there we go. All right, so now the uh, that sauce, the the fish sauce, sugar, and the water uh, done boiling. You know, my wife brought it to a boil, so we're putting it in a bowl here, and then we're gonna mix all of the, the hot peppers, the garlic in here, some lime, and this is gonna be our sauce. So this is this is a huge staple in the Vietnamese. Um, pretty much culture and all in all their foods and everything so pretty sure if anybody's watching this and if you're Vietnamese and pretty sure you know the uh, the nook mom sauce is amazing you, it, you have to have it with all types of food so So after about 30, 40 minutes right now, we uh, unwrap the foil and what we're gonna end up doing is um, just kind of charring it up a little bit and give it a little bit crisp on the skin and uh, just kind of um, broil. We set it on broil for maybe about 10 minutes or so. So we're doing fish wrap. You gotta have wrap. So we got rice paper here. Uh, this is the, the brand my wife prefers. It's the, uh, the Three Ladies brand. So we're gonna be using this to do the uh, spring roll wrap. Okay, so do you like, uh, say Scotty, so do you like fish wrap? Do you like spring rolls? Yeah. Let me see. Is that yours? Yeah. <laughs> 
Mommy's making another one. Mommy's making another one for you? My fifth one. Your fifth one? All right, buddy. While you were recording, I was eating four. Oh, my goodness. And I also ate noodle with the sauce. All right. Two bowls. Fish is done. And right now, we're going to get the uh, the wrap ready. So this is the spring roll wrap. Uh, you put it in, um, I think it's in warm water, hot water. It, it gets the, the outside of the wrap nice and soft so you can maneuver and wrap it up. So there you go, you put it on a plate there, and then you can put some greens and veggies here. You can put some lettuce right there. Mommy, then you want to put some of this uh, boon noodles. So noodles, you want to put some, some of this vermicelli noodles. Okay, and then we're gonna add some cilantro, basil, and we're gonna put some cucumbers, and then we're gonna put some mint leaves in this, and then we're gonna obviously add at the very end, Mr. Walleye, the Walter. So look at him, nice and baked. Uh, I really love definitely the lemongrass and also the ginger that we put it in. It, it just really enhances the flavor. Once it bakes in, about, like I said, about 45 minutes in, boom, you can see that nice and white flaky meat. Still super hot and just pure goody. There we go. He has tons of meat right there. Boom. Then you put it in the uh, spring roll. And the cool thing is, you know, the bigger the fish or more fish you, you catch, I guess you can have more meat. So so just so everybody knows, I actually do this for hybrid striped bass wipers. Um, it does the same thing. You can do a fish wrap with it and we actually do that too with this, but obviously it's walleye season and, and like I said, a uh, huge shout out to River Certify himself for you know helping me get on these, these um, walleyes for this uh, catch and cook. So here we go. And at the very end, once it's nice and wrapped, it's gonna look nice and pretty just like that. So obviously you can know I did not wrap that because mine would be a total mess. So props to the uh, boss lady. And then just on the side, I put a little bit of uh, the sauce right here. And uh, here we go, we're gonna give it a shot and I'll let you guys know how it tastes. All right, so there's the, uh, the final concoction. I got the nice little spring roll, great veggies. Got the uh, Nook Mom sauce, the dip, and I'm gonna give it a shot, so see how it goes. Mmm. Super good, super fresh. You get all the combinations of the food in here. I mean, the fish, it's like I said, it's so fresh and you bake it, it's not fishy tasting. Then you got the noodles that give you the filler, the outside of the wrap. And then you got all these greens, like I said, you got the cucumber, the lettuce, the cilantro. It just infuses into the, the spring roll wrap and then the dip. I'm telling you, it's just a little bit of sweetness, sourness, spiciness, and then you got the, um, the garlic taste so one thing you, you need to do is make sure you brush your teeth after you know you're not gonna want to talk to people obviously after you, you know you you have fish sauce so but other than that hopefully you guys enjoyed this catch and cook right gone right scotty yeah so yeah, I'm oh you're, you're in the air now i can okay. so just so everybody knows make sure you like videos like this obviously hit the the like button uh you want to see more videos hit the subscribe button down here to, the, to to your your right. I always say down here, hit, hit, hit the subscribe button. I always say to the left because it's my left, your guys' right. And then, like I said, make sure you guys check out Beer Fish Fanatics podcast with my self fishing kit right here. Put the link up here, top right to you guys. And also watch the videos with me in it. Yeah, see, there you go. Let's go. You can you can see my daughter in this a little bit more. And, oh, one other I thing. My and and as I mentioned before. Uh, I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be doing giveaways every every new hundred subscribers I'm gonna be doing either a t-shirt face mask hat lures or something I'm gonna be just doing giveaways 
for any of those who uh, are subscribed to the channel. So let's grow it. And then also for, I'm just gonna be doing giveaways for people who comment. That's how I'm gonna register it. So every week, cause right now, um, you know, as we keep growing, cause I think our goal, I think my goal, I think our kids goals, myself and my kids goals is try to get up to a thousand subs. So hopefully we can get up there. And like I said, every hundred subscribers, I'm gonna be doing some type of mini uh, kind of giveaway. So other than that, till next time guys.